wir begrüßen hier nämlich schon Derek Wharton und Martin Hermannsson. Zu Recht viel Applaus. Da ist Derek. Ja. Und Martin macht schon mal ein paar Fotos. Derek, where is Martin? Da ist Martin. Martin kommt hier rum, darum. Genau, da kommt Martin. Wie geht's? Ey, geht mir gut. Er fragt. Wie geht's? Alle zusammen. Ich wusste, ihr mögt das. Martin. Wie geht's dir? <lacht> Sehr gut, und selbst? Ja. <lacht> Exzellent! Also wenn ihr so spielt, das war ja heute also ein, ein, ein... Ach so, die Ulmer. So, ihr Lieben. Wir hatten gerade schon kurz darüber gesprochen. Kommt ruhig gerne ran, aber lasst die Trommel im Moment schweigen. Aus Respekt vor unseren beiden Gästen, Martin und Derek, die bei uns sind beim Fan-Talk. Wir reden ein bisschen über das Spiel. Und über die Serie gegen Ulm. Das war heute ein Sieg mit Ausdruck, ein Statement, Victory. Um, how did you like it? I like it. Uh, it was a great team effort. Uh, I think everybody did a really good job today. And uh, I think we did a really good job the, uh, keeping the energy throughout the whole game. Uh, we had a good lead at the halftime. But uh, we just keep increasing, increasing, increasing instead of being relaxed and let Ulm get back in the game. It can be dangerous to have a good lead at the halftime. What did you talk about in the halftime to not uh, lose the lead? Exactly this, uh, to, to keep going for 40 minutes, because we've seen it so many times. We've been in a situation before where we've lost 20 point lead, and we've also been in the situation being down 20 and coming back. So basketball is crazy. You never, you never like, uh, you don't have any safety during the game. So you gotta play for the whole 40 minutes. Also er sagt, man ist sich nie sicher im Basketball, ist schon eine verrückte Sportart und man muss immer dann dranbleiben und auch das, was sie in der ersten Halbzeit erreicht hatten, mit diesen fast 20 Punkte Vorsprung zur Halbzeit, haben sie besprochen, wir müssen unbedingt so weitermachen, damit wir das nicht verlieren. Und das Ganze ist heute uh, ohne Peyton Siva passiert. When uh, did you know right before the game that Peyton cannot play? Um, I think we had a, a hunch earlier this morning, but uh, it was confirmed probably about 30, 40 minutes before. Uh, game time. And when did Aito come to you and say, you're my starting point guard, you must save us? <laughs> he didn't say save us, uh, <laughs> but he definitely, uh, he just said it in the starting five. I kind of had a, um, a hunch, but uh, I try to prepare the exact same way every game, so uh, not to be surprised by anything. Also Aido hat nicht gesagt, dass er alleine äh, Alba retten müsse, aber er hat ihn natürlich darauf vorbereitet, welche Rolle das heute war. Er hat elf Punkte erzielt, er hat zwölf Assists gespielt. Traumhafte Assists, ein Double-Double. So, what does this individual performance mean to you, to make a Double-Double in the start uh, of the playoffs? Uh, it's always something you remember. Um, but I'm always about winning. Like, winning has always been first and foremost, so... Uh, sometimes throughout the midst of the game, I never really think about it. Um, so, I mean, it obviously, it's, it's a great accolade individually, but overall, it's always sweeter when you win, when you have stuff like this. Wir sprechen ja über eine Serie gegen Ulm. Es gibt ja noch mehrere Spiele. So, what do you think about the series against this team? Ulm, they played uh, the last games very good before the playoffs. Yeah, this is a really good team with a lot of talent. Uh, we know it's not going to be easy at all going to Ulm. So, uh, now it's just a... Zero zero again. Um, we've seen it before with teams winning th like we against Valencia. We lost by 20 and we won them the second game at home. So it's gonna take a lot of effort, a lot of energy, and uh, we have to be really focused in Ulm. And you did expect a very hard game like today? Yeah, I, I mean, I always expect uh, a hard game. Um, I think it was a hard game. We, we had to really put a lot of energy into this game and, and um, Yeah, uh, now it's back to zero zero, and, and uh, hopefully we get a lot of support in Ulm also. Also, er sagt, dass sie hoffentlich daran anschließen können. In Ulm erwartet er aber auch ein hartes Spiel. Ähm, wie wichtig ist das vor so einem Spiel, nicht zwei Tage davor schon gespielt zu haben, sondern ein paar Tage mal trainiert zu haben? So, how important is it to have a, a five days of practice right before a game, as it now was? Um, with any team and at any level and in any where in the world, you always got things you want to fine tune. 
Uh, obviously, with it being late in the year and getting ready to play a, a stretch of games in a small time, span of time, you want to preserve some energy. But overall, it's always good to come in and, um, and get some camaraderie with the team, like uh, some chemistry, and always tie up some loose ends and some things you think can improve. Okay, also er sagt, wichtig, dass ein Team sich dann weiterentwickelt und auch die Chance hat, das im Training mal auszuarbeiten, bevor man dann gleich wieder spielt. Zuletzt hatten wir sehr viele Spiele am Stück und da konnte dann nicht viel trainiert werden. Und das, er meint, dass es für jedes Team, in dem er bisher gespielt hat, war das auch immer wichtig. Wir müssen mal über die Musikwünsche der Spieler reden. So, let's talk about the music requests you have right before the game. Today it was your turn. Martins favorite was, please say if I do not pronounce it the right way, Herra? Hnetus Mür, <laughs> is it right? Herr yeah, yeah. Hnetus Mür. I'm native speaker, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it called Optel Hoppa? Optel Hoppa. Optel Hoppa, what does it mean? Uh, up to groups. Okay, is it a, a famous song in, in Iceland? It's a, yeah, it's a song that's played at the, the clubs downtown in Iceland. <laughs> How many clubs are there in Iceland? <laughs> One. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> No, no, we have we have a lot of a lot of clubs, but this is this is a banger. I actually. Hey, uh, hallo, ich ich mag's auch. I actually asked for uh, Rammstein. Rammstein, yeah. I, I asked for Rammstein, Sonne, but it didn't play it. I don't know why. What? What's uh, good? What's going my on? next request was Disco Poco. You know this one? Disco Poco. Yeah. No. From. Disco Poco. Go on YouTube. Disco Poco. It's a good song. Kennt das jemand? Da hinten, ja, ist gut. He likes it too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, also ich mag seinen isländischen Humor. Irgendwie einen Club gibt es in Island und irgendwie er ist isländischer Basketballer des Jahres geworden, weil da gibt es nur zwei Basketballer äh, in Island. Das ist seiner. And you, you celebrated your music request right before the game. How important is it to hear your music loud in the arena right before the game? Um, with, with each and every player, no matter where, you always have a song or two or something that allows you to just kind of be free and allows you to get your juices flowing. So. Being able to hear your music is always important, especially as a player. You play so many games, and you, sometimes it gets lethargic. You, you know, you know, you sore and whatnot. But that that always gets you up, no matter what's going on. Who's the craziest guy in this music request uh, from your teammates? What would you think? Is it Dennis or is it Rokas? Who is it? Oh man, honestly, I'm not too bilingual. So if they if they pick a song from their home country, I don't really yeah. know. So like Rammstein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I, yeah, when y'all was. Whatever interaction y'all just had, I didn't know what was going on. But overall, I think uh, pro probably Dennis. Dennis has an yeah. interesting playlist. Okay, wir sind gespannt auf Dennis Wunsch dann die nächsten und bedanken uns recht herzlich bei unseren beiden tollen Spielern, Martin Hermansson. Dankeschön, thank you very much. Und Derek Walton, thank you very much.